Uh, well, I lost everyone. Yeah, that main internet dropped. Gordon Gecko, damn right. Hey Chris, some coaches have new athletes they bring on to sign a contract. What is your thoughts on this? Oh my God. Insanity. Insanity. What do you think you would place in classic physique first? You get your stimulus check? Nope. Yes, yeah, Sean could possibly win the Olympia if he competes. Uh, Flex Wheel, of one of the greatest marbles of all time. Yes, so finesse. Great question. Why do you think 90s bodybuilders had deeper separation in their quads? They did. I don't know. Yeah, 97, Nasser could have won that show easily. Yes, I was there. Long Beach. Bob Kreskin's training philosophy, moderate volume to failure. A lot of emphasis on the negative, too. Jay put down the most food of everyone I worked with. Chris Bumstead, tremendous. Riley Winkler, can he win the Olympia? Extreme, extreme, yes, but extreme uh, dark horse. Things would really have to go right for him in the last two years have not gone right. Ninety three wheeler, Arnold Flex Wheeler, two thousand three Olympia Ron Coleman. God, two thousand that's a great two thousand eleven Phil Heath. Who would win? I may give the nod to Flex Wheel in ninety three. I don't care how small on the scale he was. Uh, 60 cardio a day is, I think, pretty much max for me. Sometimes I have people do 245s. Depends. John Wood, do you think they should move the Olympia around like they used to? <laughs> yes. Who wants to go to Vegas every single year? Yes, John. I mean, who wants to go to vacation to the same place every year? Not that it's a vacation, but you you know my point. It's like, here we are, Orleans, right? I mean, they do a good job, but I think it'd be more exciting if they moved it around. Don't you? What do you think, John? Do you think, um, do you believe NASA's presumed use of synthol caused the judges to give 97 Mr. O to Dorian? I don't know. I don't know what was in the judges' minds. Why the 90s bodybuilders had a thinner waist and symmetrical shape compared to now? Because the judges want fucking mass. 
at all costs. I mean, they don't, you know, people get rewarded for mass. End condition, but they want mass. Big Grammy 2020. Well, we just saw Big Grammy 2020. So what do you think? Sir, why do you not read out my message? Maybe because it was, uh, type it again. I can't read out every single one. Uh, yeah, females can get by with less carbs, more cardio. They don't drink on low carbs. Men bodybuilders do. Yeah, Troy, Troy Alves had great separation everywhere, not just in his quads. What do you prefer to drink after workout, protein or carbs? Coffee. I'm kidding. Um, protein and carbs. No, we'll never see technology embedded in bodybuilding judging. Why do you think people in the States aren't too happy about take, talking about PEDs, where in the UK they talk about it with no issues? I don't know. I always say cardio best first thing in the morning, empty stomach. Someone was debating with me yesterday. They said the studies don't show that. And I said, well, who gives a crap? You asked me my opinion. 93 Olympia in Atlanta. No, it was not. I think the IFBB should continue with the Mr. O Europe. It was tremendous when it was in uh, Germany. Had a blast. John Woods says, absolutely, they should move it around. It created more buzz, and you're right. Some people do use that in the Arnold as a vacation. I mean, it's so... Here we go. John, I say at the same room, for God's sakes, the last 10 years. What do you think of the Dexter and Sean Ray dispute? I absolutely love it because I don't like Sean Ray. It appears a lot of other people don't as well. Dexter's only been saying the same thing I've been saying for the last 10 years. Best way to burn fat walking in the morning before breakfast or Toro's after breakfast? Um, that one is debatable. I'd say it's a wash. Condition wasn't a problem with Big Rammy when I worked with him. Isn't it funny? Everyone said, oh, Chris, you brought him in flat, flat, flat. Now they just, just bring him in condition, 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 even if he's flat. Which client of yours was the most difficult to learn? I think different people, are, I, I think honestly, it's always a challenge. Um, I mean, you can learn someone's body, but the body's changed the next year and what you thought would work no longer works. So you have to be, be flexible. Favorite bodybuilder right now? Um, I don't have favorite. What year do you consider old school bodybuilding? Eh, I don't know. 70s and 80s. Oh, Hanny Pink, Ramadan Kareem. You're a week early. Free weights and machines? Yes, I hate machines. Uh, I met Bob Gruskin in 1987, Teenage Mass at Mechanics Halls in Worcester. I know that place very well. 
What is wrong with John Ray? Yo, seriously. He's got a massive insecurity complex, right, John Wood? John didn't need a guru. Well, who gives a shit? Maybe he could have won an Olympia if he had a guru. Maybe he could have had a more successful career than two wins or whatever he's got. Yes, Leany was one of the greatest. What was the worst thing you heard Sean Ray did? Oh my God, I, I, need, I need to make a list. I need to add it up with my calculator. Dude, he, he, he's addicted to gossip about other people. No, I don't have any plans to do seminars in the UK. I hate seminars. Lee Priest would do very well against today's 212 guys. They'd hammer him to death on the glutes and hams and probably give him like 12. When an athlete's metabolism is on fire to slow it down, what do I do to slow it down? Do I give him more food? No, I actually have him rest and don't do cardio and don't train as hard. Um, outside of real estate, what are your investment principles? Uh, buy for the long, long, long term and uh, buy when people are in a panic. Otherwise, you cannot beat the market. You cannot beat the market. You cannot beat the market. I was just talking about someone to someone today about that, about the moronic head talkers on CNBC. If you add it up there, you can't beat the market. You can't. You can't time the market. You can only add to your position when things are crashing or have crashed. Think Biden will stay alive for four years? Actually, you know, I've thought of that. His health seems crappy. His mental health, too. I mean, he can't remember crap. He working with Reagan, no. Common fixes that you've used with people store excess water through prep. <sighs> you mean the last week or not the last week? Because it doesn't matter if they're holding water through the prep. Oh, Derek, newbie machine is great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting good reports on that. I mean, people tell me Sergio loves it. Why do you hate machines? Because the best physiques were built on free weights. Are you headed to Florida to live one day? Nope. Ramadan cream. Bodybuilding with the most potential now? I hate that question because it means nothing. Zippo. Tom Plass, Bob Paris. That's whose physiques I like coming up. Sean Ray is a putz, says John Wood. Agreed. He thinks he knows more than anyone. Agreed. He's his own biggest downfall. Agreed. What would uh, Louis Farrakhan say? The, the ro rooster came home, the roost or whatever. Now he's just trying to stay relevant. He's irrelevant. John, I've been saying that. I used to say for like 10 years when I, 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 people forget the battles I had with him on RX. I was just like, this guy's a moron, just trying to stay relevant. So when will business start to open in the US? Oh, not for a while. Not for a while. Yeah, Sean is the most hated bodybuilder. We should give him an award. How about that? He'd win it like 10 years running. And the nominees for most hated bodybuilder are... I feel like the Academy Awards. How can bodybuilders learn from you? Uh, buy my books. There's a plug. Are you preparing for a real estate boom after the pandemic is over? Nope. Fuad. This is the Jay Cutler style right here. Fuad, you're, you're, you're getting good traction on your interviews, huh? Who is the best guest you had on so far, Fuad? And Fuad, you can ask anything you want unless you plan to compete again. Do 
Do you accept non-IPv pearls? Of course. And Fuad, um, people are shitting on Sean Ray here. If you want to add to it, I'll read what you have to say. Now, Bob Gerson's number one coach of all time, period. Un indisputable, can't even be argued with. I used to I used to call him after every single person won a show and say, well, Bob, so-and-so won a show. That's all because of you. I can't get in touch with Dave. Believe me, he's so busy. He says, you do need to do an Instagram live with Dave Palumbo. I can't even get in touch with him. I'm 20 years old and have $2,000. Uh, what should I invest in? Um... 1,000 in a Vanguard fund, uh, 300 in Apple, 300 in Amazon. That's um, yeah. Well, there's 1,600. Thanks, Derek. Two potential. Everyone wants to know who has the best potential. Who has the best potential? Potential. 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 Off-season cardio frequency, none. How's that? Kevin LeBron should have won one Olympia. Which one are you thinking about? I'm not sure. Is the economy screwed for the next five years? That's the billion, trillion dollar question. Uh... Never in the history has the economy of the entire world come to a stop. So that's not a good thing. You don't want your metabolism to come to a stop. Can you imagine if your metabolism slowed for like down to like zero for six weeks, how fat you'd get and how hard it would be to get that fat off? That's where we are. Like I'm slum, I'm in. Yeah, there'll be NPC shows. Cedric, yeah. Well, Cedric's number one, Fuad. He's number one. He's Muhammad Ali, dude. 100%. He's Muhammad Ali with a mix of... Uh, uh, he's got a little bit of Arnold-esque in him. He's got charisma. He's Muhammad Ali because he's defiant and speaks the truth. There's no one like Cedric, period. Do you and Ron Harris bump heads? No. West Palm Beach in March 2012, bought a house for $35,000 cash, moved in, moving condition worth one fifty dollars now, not bad. Property taxes, $600 a year. You should have bought two, bro. No, Fuad, I said, the problem is, your show is excellent. Um, I guess I, I, I only listened to the... The only show I actually listened to was the Cedric one, which you should have got an award for. Um, and I didn't listen to any after that. One, I don't have the time, but two... Oh, by the way, I wore your sweatshirt at the Arnold weekend. I think it's right over there. No. But... Um, you know how it is. If you want to let loose and say what you want to say all the time, which would be great, which I, you know, you probably are, but you know, you have to walk that fine line between, are they going to crucify me? No post Easter pun intended. Sean Ray is a douche. We're going to give him an award for it. I think all the people, the, the list of people who cannot stand him is stunning. Fouad, if you went back to when I joined RX Muscle in 2000, I forget the feud I had with him. I had so many feuds with him. And I would just say, you know what? This guy is a idiot, an absolute idiot. And... You know, this is the guy, Fuad, when uh, Dallas McCarver passed away. 
he almost relished in it. He relished in it. He posted something on MD. He posted like a cartoon of the Grim Reaper and said something like, I'm paraphrasing, told you so. That sums up Sean Ray. Yes, Kamal is still, still, you know, I'm still working with Kamal. What is the best book you ever wrote on prep? I only wrote two books. No, what I mean is you, you can't say what you want to say and then not have people hate you. Because Fuad might say things controversial. They're not controversial. They're just, they may be truthful. And that, you know, sometimes people get their feathers ruffled when you, when you, you know, you're aggressive with the truth. I was already on Fuad's podcast. Somebody just asked. Sean Ray is just making it worse for himself as the years go by. He's creating his own social distancing. Are you friends with Ron Harris? No. Do you think the economy should open up as soon as it is, soon as it is what? Links to the books you can go to Amazon and put in my name. I think they're sold out. No, Kevin, not, Kevin should not have won in 2000, um, 1995. 1995, he was terrible for the morning show, uh, absolutely stunning for the night show. He could have won the night show. Why do you write any more? Why don't you write any more books on modern bodybuilding? Because there's nothing new, right, Fuad? There's nothing new to say. Will you make a podcast about real estate or investment for bodybuilders? No. No. Cedric is not a mix of Muhammad Ali, Conor McGregor, and Kai Green. It's he's a mix of him of himself, Arnold a little bit, more Muhammad Ali, and who is the other guy I'm trying to think of? Uh, who was gunned down? Who was killed in the sixties? Malcolm X. And he's funny, so we got to include a comedian. Yes, I talked to Kamal a lot. I No, I wore it, Fuad. I wore it. I brought it and I packed it. I wore it. I wore it a lot. I wore it under my jacket because I get cold easy. I never took off that other jacket because I the, the other jacket had my phone chargers in it and my phone and my gum... So you, the, the black hoodie that you sent didn't have the, doesn't have the zippers. If there's a meat shortage, you're going to see the shit hit the fan. All right, I'll talk to you later, Floyd. Any thoughts on Greg Doucette? Um, no, other than that people always bring up his name. There's a contest prep guy. I always talk to investment people and I say, I start out when I call them, get me on CNBC now when I have something to spout off. You can get my book on Amazon. Is Sean Ray disliked? Uh, yeah. Thank you, Matt Kuba. Matt Kuba, yesterday was your yogurt day. Legs. See, I still have a pretty good memory. My, I don't even, uh, my, my issues with Sean are like, I, I, I for, go back, I don't even know how long. Keon Pearson, tremendous. Very good bodybuilder.
prejudge in Olympia same day. Uh, yeah, because the physique's a lot changed in two days, and people say if he looked at the finals like he did at prejudge, and well, I think the prejudging should be counted as more though. No bullshit! No bullshit! That's Beta Budai. Yeah, Kamal won again this year. I think so. Yeah, Steve Harvey, a lot of Cedric. Yeah. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy Ganem, Eda Napple, Sammy. Aaron Polite's two twelve, very good bodybuilder. No, did you notice what Cedric did out there? Yeah. J two thousand one Dorian, you got to see these physiques side by side. Yeah, the Fuad sent me that hoodie. He says I didn't wear it. I wore it all the time. More hardcore Bevs or Big Daddies? Um, what a great question, Big Daddies. Only by the fact that there were people only there to get huge. Steve has, you know, a mix of people. Steve has a much better gym by far. High price of cremation. Ugh. That's in the book, dude. Can you explain the importance of establishing a baseline reference diet versus just starting a diet for four weeks? Yogurt, yogurt pumps. Who's your best student to date? There's some guy called Matt Cooper in uh, the Midwest. Someone just asked that, Matt. Did you ever think about going to Oxygen to be a head guru? No. Yeah, I'd like to see Sean come back. I think he's going to. Outside of bodybuilding, KK Beirut. How has the quarantine affected you and your coaching business? It affected every aspect of my life. All right, I get calls to make. While I'm doing this, I get like 11 phone calls from people, leaving messages, non-bodybuilding related. All right, we'll try to do it again tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. See you later.